What's going on everybody? I'm in my office right now doing some work, actually setting my budget. Wanted to talk to you about ways to, to make more money, ways to save money. Basically this video is called Five Steps uh, Towards Saving Money. So I'm gonna give you my steps. I failed a lot at saving money, but then I've also succeeded a lot more. When I was younger, it was, it was much easier to fail at saving money. And I think that's because, you know, the, the tips, the strategies, it's not something they really teach you in college and high school. And it's definitely not something that I learned uh, growing up through my parents, uh, through my family or friends or whatnot. So what I want to do is provide you with a video that's going to give you some realistic steps, five realistic steps. The first thing I have here is to cut expenses. Now, you may have heard this before, but I want to give you something realistic that you can do, right? If you have a gym membership that's 49 bucks, leave that gym. Get a gym that's ten dollars. Okay, if you have anything automatic that comes out every month, it's called an ACH. I want you to look at your bank statement and look at what's coming out automatically because you may have signed up for something years ago and because you don't check your bank statement, you're not even aware that it's on there. So check all the automatic payments that come out. Check all of them. Make sure every single one is something you've agreed to. It's something that you still use today. Uh, one of the best ways to cut expenses in, in my life was I downloaded an app called Mint.com. And what Mint.com does, uh, it's on your iPhone or your Android, whatever you have. And then there's a website interface as well. And what it's going to do for you is it's actually going to track every single one of your transactions. So I had my transactions tracked. And what it showed me is that one of my spending habits is that I spend a lot of money on going out to eat on restaurants, which that makes sense because I do like to go out to eat. However, when I looked one month, I had spent $3,000 on going to restaurants in one month. Now, that's too much money. That's way, way too much money. So my biggest battle has been making a concerted effort to stay out of the restaurants and to meal prep as an alternative because meal prep causes you to buy all your food up front as well as prepare it up front so it's ready. And you don't wanna be on day four or five of meal prep and then go to a restaurant because then you're just throwing food away. You're literally throwing money away. So what I'm telling you to do is to cut your expenses, download this app called Mint.com. It'll help you kind of track your expenses to see where you spend so you can get uh, understanding. Uh, the second thing I have here is, speaking of Mint.com, is you have to have a written budget. Uh, I think Dave Ramsey said that 80 to 85 percent of Americans don't have a written budget. And I just think that's stupid. If you care about money, which you should, because money gives you access to food, to shelter, to water, you need to care about money. What I recommend you do is you have a written budget that, that you set for your month, but you double check it and you re uh, you know reanalyze it every Sunday. That's what I do, that's what we do in my household. We make a monthly budget, so we made our budgets last night, and then every Sunday we're gonna get together and we're gonna look at our budgets. We're gonna look at what we spent, what we're over, what we can, what we need to pay attention to, what we're doing good on. And we have this conversation every Sunday in my house so we know what's going on with our finances. You know, a lot of people are broke because they don't have conversations about their finances because it's too overwhelming or whatnot. So you can't be scared to have these conversations. The third thing uh, that you wanna do is figure out your spending behavior. So I just kind of told you that my biggest problem is just eating out at restaurants, which is which is awesome. I mean, I mean that's a fun time. It's a bonding thing. So it's a, it's a great thing. But at the same time, my number was extreme. Three thousand dollars a month is extreme. Now, granted, I travel for work, so my number is probably a lot higher than most people. But still, that's way too much money. Way too much money. Um, I mean, there's people who don't even make three thousand dollars in a month, you know. And I'm spending that just on on restaurants. That's ridiculous to me. So number three is you gotta figure out your spending behavior, figure out what you're doing, and then you gotta figure out what's gonna work better for you. Are you a person that can use cash because you know you feel the money going out, so you'll actually spend less? Or are you the type of person who uh, you like using your card? And if you like using your card, you wanna make sure um, that it's working out for you. The fourth thing that uh, obviously makes plenty of sense, could be the first thing, is you wanna increase your income. You wanna increase your income. So if you have a steady job, let's say you work a nine to five and you make a certain amount every uh, two weeks and that two weeks is not enough, right? Like you do the other steps and you follow through, it's definitely time to consider adding a second job or adding a side hustle. Now a side hustle to me means you're an entrepreneur and you're creating something on the side. You're working your job and then you're creating an entrepreneur uh, type hustle on the side, which is what I personally did when I was working in corporate America. I quit corporate America in 2013. 
and it's now 2017. I, I allowed my side hustle to become my main hustle. Now that my main hustle uh, is sustainable and it's been working, I've been an entrepreneur for four years, now I'm looking for another side hustle to add to what I'm doing. Just because I make enough money to sustain my lifestyle, uh, that doesn't mean it's enough, you know? So uh, some of the things I'm looking into doing right now is, I, I like I said, I'm in my office right now, considering making this uh, Airbnb. Um, I live in Old Town Scottsdale, Arizona, which is a really, really nice area. So I'm just considering making an Airbnb, considering uh, it's starting to cool down here, maybe I'll do Uber, considering maybe picking up a part-time uh, job at like maybe a bar or something of that nature, uh, maybe being a server or working at the grocery store. These are the types of things that I'm considering. I'm completely sustained as an entrepreneur. I make enough money as an entrepreneur where I don't need a job. But at the same time, I'm young and I don't have kids yet. So I might as, in my mind, I'm like, I might as well create something extra. So if you don't have kids, you have no reason where, why you shouldn't be working two jobs. Like you should be working two jobs. Even if the other job, you only work there once a week or two or three times a month. If you need more money, you gotta create more income. So either either go the job route or do your entrepreneur thing. You know, create your own business, create your own brand on the side. Get whatever you know certification you need on the side so you can start building that while you're at your job. Don't just quit your job and chase entrepreneurship. Entre being an entrepreneur is very hard. So what you want to do is build it on the side. Build it on the side until it tells you, okay. Until the market tells you, I need to quit my job and focus full time. And you'll know when that happens. Um, and the 15, <laughs> I think I said 15. The fifth thing uh, I just wrote on here to live sim simpler. So uh, minimalism. So, you know, I don't have much stuff in my office at all. Um, I keep a bit uh, air mattress in there just in case, you know, I fall asleep in here. Um, there's like my bookcase. There's my light that's on. Um, I mean, I got a printer and my chair, you know, my computer, microphone, speakers, you know, and then my iPhone is sitting right here and I got a candle lit. You know, this room right here doesn't have that much stuff in it. And that's how I like to live. I like to live simple. So look in your closets because there's, there's probably some income in your closets. Look in your closets. You can sell some clothes. If you can't sell some clothes, definitely donate them to, you know, to someone who may need them more or donate them to uh, a shelter or uh, a Salvation Army or something of that nature. You know, live small. Look at the stuff you have in your house and sell it. Get rid of it. I mean, just sell stuff that you don't need. You want to look at your house as, okay, what do I need? You know, you don't need an extra fancy house. I don't care where you live. Live simple. Live small. Also, part of living small means stop buying stuff. Stop buying stuff that you don't need. Stop it. Stop buying stuff that you don't need. All right, I'm about to get out of here. This video is a little different than the videos I posted on my channel before. Uh, so if you, if you like this type of video, if you like my thoughts and perspective on finances, uh, let me know. I would love to make more videos if, if that's what you guys want. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm an expert. I'm going to tell you that I'm a student. I'm a student. Um, I figured out a lot of different things, figured out what has worked for me. So the only thing I'm doing here is just sharing my story, sharing my thoughts. Definitely consult with a, a financial advisor or someone who has saved lots and lots and lots of money. Someone who has uh, made lots and lots of money if, if that's what you need. So drop a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful. If you know a friend or anyone that uh, can benefit send them this video and with that being said i'm about to get back to work i'm working on my book i'm editing the manuscript it's almost done and i will see you guys in the next video